Cyberpunk 2077 is one of those games I am super excited about. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about all the different gangs in the game right here in this video. Obviously, if you appreciate this video, go ahead, hit the like on the video. Let's get 500 likes and subscribe down below and turn on the post notification if you are new. Cyberpunk has a huge variety of gangs in the amazing open world. So today we're going to take a look at all the different gangs that there are that you should definitely know about because they're all in the main story. Let's start off with the gang called Moxes. These guys actually protect sex workers and have their own brain dance studio. So the Moxes are based in Lizzie's Bar and most of their income is coming from Lizzie's Bar as well as their exclusive brain dance station. Tiger Claws is a Japanese gang that can be found in Night City. This gang used to not really rely on the cyberware, but mostly on martial arts as well as traditional Japanese weaponry. But recently, they started relying on cyberware too, but mostly for transportation as well as the motorcycles. With 5,500 members, they are one of the biggest gangs in Night City and they're recognizable by their Asian looks, fast by Katanas and Tantos. Japanese Town is Night City's nightlife district. They own more businesses in Night City than any gang, like bars, restaurants, brain dance clubs, brothels, and casinos. Members of Millstorm are recognizable by their leather clothing as well as the chrome color, and they are actually one of those smaller gangs, but they do actually attack the bigger targets, basically for anything super expensive like drugs, cyberware, and you name it. Millstorm Gang is located in the all food plant in Night City, and their territory is the industrial part of Watson. And like you could probably already make up, they are obsessed with cyber technology. The revenue that the Millstorms are making comes from smuggling drugs, getting hired actually to kill people in very brutal ways, as well as from Drink and Riot, which is one of the most popular clubs in Night City. Sixth Street was founded by old American patroids and obviously they use their power like all the other gangs do as well in public communities. They wear military boots, tactical vests, kneecaps, cargo pants, baseball caps with old USA flags, stripes and eagles. Cyberware that this clan uses include cyber optics, pain editors as well as health monitors. The gang has 2,300 members and was founded because everyone was tired of the gangs that had all the power or the need of help from the NCPD. Sixth Street is mostly making money from robbery, extortions as well as gun smuggling and they also have connections with nomad groups in the outside area of the city. Sixth Street also robs cars, modifies them them and also owns garages and workshops. And one of the things that make them really popular is because they actually offer combat taxis. And then we have the Valentinos and these guys actually follow God. The only purpose that they have is to seduce women. That's literally their only purpose. They don't harm anyone. At least they do harm guys that actually have beautiful girlfriends. The gang Valentinos is located on the place called Haywood and they value things like honor, justice, and brotherhood, and they really take it serious. With over 6,000 members, they are one of the biggest gangs in the game though, but they are actually a mix between the American and the Mexican culture, which is called the Chicano culture. The cyberware that they use are the reflect boosters, outer loaders, as well as the augmentation cyber limbs. The Valentinos have a lot of legit income from businesses like restaurants, workshops, nightclubs, and so many more. Some of these companies actually get used for money laundry. Although they have a lot of legit businesses, they still make the most money from gun smuggling, car tap, drug trafficking, robbery, hit jobs, 
prostitutes, and of course, illegal modifications to weapons as well as vehicles. The raids are the biggest gang of nomads and they are actually outside of this city. So this gang travels mostly at night and preys on the sleeping and unwary. Their leader is called Dog Killer and it's a rumor that his clothing is actually made from human skin. So the raids and six streets are the two only big nomad gangs in the Badlands. But of course, there are many more smaller gangs that they have conflicts with. And one of the awesome things is that they have a 1000 horsepower modified car called the Reaver. Raids simply ignore the law and have also dominated big areas in Night City. Their leader is called Dog Killer and it's a rumor that his clothing is actually made from human skin. They also raid small villages, attack small groups of nomads and attack weakly protected corp transports. Cyberware that the gang uses is reflect boosters, pain editors, heavy modified vehicles like the 1000 horsepower modified car as well as possibly military grade equipment. So a lot of the money that these guys are making come from the spoil of raids as well as transport contracts and they like to take people hostage to get money as well. Now we arrived at the animals and these guys are trying to make themselves super human they think that there is a human species which they are which is like closer to the animal the animals are a muscled aggressive gang from the West Pacifica and they have more physical power than anyone else they use testosterone animal supplements as well as steroid like drugs which is called the juice so the animals use these drugs as well as sell them to make a revenue and they hold life or death prize fighting and the territory that they're in right now is the grand imperial mall the animals gang also has a leader which is called sasquatch she has a massive hammer where she tries to attack you with and the cyberware that they use are the pain editors combat drug injections as well as augmented cyber limbs like you probably saw coming most of their money is coming from drug deals pharmaceutical companies as well as bouncer shops Fudo Boys is a terrorist gang of drug dealers. They engage in weird magical rituals and sell drugs to university students. They also kill and rape for any reason or no reason at all. Doesn't sound like very nice people to be with. The Fudo Boys are a priority for the police, but they are actually not in a headquarters, so it's hard to catch them. All the meetings happen online on the net. You can actually walk accidentally into one of them at the Hababas which is an ex-biker bar but mostly you won't even see these guys and they started as average white boys and girls. So the Voodoo Boys aren't just netrunners, they break every single rule that they can possibly break and the Netwatch is constantly on the lookout. And by the way Netwatch is an organization based in England which is trying to keep the network safe for all the European as well as the American American users. So these guys are actually very very smart. All the money they make come from hacking bank databases as well as selling top secret information and theft of virtual currencies and unknown acts. Night City is also full with scavengers and you can walk into these guys anywhere around the city. They roam around selling black market cyberware and also rip off their customers. The members of this gang are Russians. They speak Russian and also listen to Russian music. So these guys literally don't care about anyone but themselves and also profit. They see people as products that you can actually sell on in the market. So what these guys do is they take advantage of donors. So people are basically dying because of them because they're selling their entire body or at least most of the parts and after that they burn them or dump them and leave them in the sewers. So the cyberware that these guys use is called the cyber optics 
pain editors, health monitors, Karisnikov, and KERS. So the profits that the scavengers are making are actually coming from, for example, body parts, but also really nasty jobs where other people don't want to be associated with. If there's any money on the table, they will definitely go ahead and do the job. And then you also have this gang called All Day Kados. This is like a smaller gang within the Red Gang, and these guys are actually coming from New Mexico as well. And also among them is Johnny Silverhand, which is Keanu Reeves. Just like the scavengers, these guys are actually making money with the dirty jobs as well as transporting stolen goods. If you found this video helpful in any way, don't forget to hit the like on the video. Let's get 500 likes. Obviously, I hope this in-depth video about all the gangs in Cyberpunk 2077 was really helpful. If it was, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications to do not miss out on any future content. This is me, Boy Cheese. I am out. Peace.